Paso. My name is Larissa. Thank you guys once again for being with us on another live episode of Live and Talented. This is episode 20. You guys, thank you so much for the continuous support every Friday night. For today's show, we have Glam It Up segment with Andrea. We have a very cute local boutique, Nada's Boutique. They're going to be showcasing some fall night lifestyles for all the ladies out there. For our TikTok segment, we have Emma, our white girl Emma, who is going to be reacting to some Spanish jokes. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. That should be really fun to watch. And for our local icon, we have Manny Rubio, who is a successful um, actor who is born and raised here in the 915. Uh, he's worked with Netflix, HBO, and Fox. And at the end of the show, you guys, we're going to be uh, showing just some clips uh, for LAT Studios. But for now, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with Andrea for our Glam It Up segment. The catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today. Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model. Welcome everyone to Glam It Up, brought to you by Live and Talented. I'm Andrea Chacon, and with us today is returning the beautiful Nada from Nada's Boutique. Nada, thank you for coming Hi, again. Thank you so much for the invitation, Andrea and Tony. You no, know, we're so glad that you're here. Last time you brought some incredible looks for all of us to see, and we definitely enjoyed them. I know I was dying to go to your boutique, and I definitely did. I probably was there longer than I should have, but you know, that's just how great it is when you go to Nada's Boutique. So tell me a little bit about what we can expect to see today. Well, we have a little bit of our fall collection. It's kind of like the browns, the blacks, a little prints going on. So I'm excited to show you what we have in stock. And I am excited as well because fall season is my favorite season of all, <laughs> of course. And although our El Paso weather is not being very fall-like, you know, it's still time to change our wardrobe. So if you are still not up to date with your fall season wardrobe, then this is your chance to get your shopping on, right? Yes. So we're going to get started with our first model today. I'm going to ask Paulette to come out here. I got it right. <laughs> Paulette, if you can come out here and Nada, tell us about Paulette's yes. look. So this is uh, a really original print. You know, the leopard is going on. So it has uh, the long neck and the, the back open. It's really, really sexy. It's perfect for El Paso weather because like you said, you know, it's just not feeling really fallish, but it's still, it looks elegant and pretty and yeah. And it, it has those fall colors to it as well. And I love animal print. That's why I'm wearing my little <laughs> animal print headband, which I got from you as well. Yes. So thank you, Paulette. You look absolutely stunning. Yes. And I love the fact that you can, you know, rock this. I wish I could wear this to work, <laughs> but you know, I don't think my bosses would be very happy with me wearing this to work. <laughs> but I definitely love it because again, we are in fall and it has that fall feel to it. But, but at hey, the same you're time, wear it for dinner. True, I can wear it for or dinner. Or even when you go out of town. When I go out, whenever I have time to go out, <laughs> if I ever go out. We'll yes. try that. Yes. <laughs> but our next model is Sierra. She has a beautiful dress as well. Yes. Tell us about Sierra's outfit. So, our bandage dresses are super in right now. You know, like uh, the, the material, it just puts everything together. So, um, she's wearing a little, me like kind of like a mesh going on with the bandage dress. And it's just beautiful. I mean, you could wear it to go out for dinner, uh, to go out with your friends for a cocktail. It's just, you could rock it. I definitely love it. And I think bandage is a girl's new best friend because it just feels like it's hugging you and it's so comfortable. It is. And it kind of molds your body. So I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Sarah. You look stunning. Thank you. And now we're gonna bring out Miss Border City's Outstanding Teen, Natalia Trulov. Tell us about Natalia's look. Well, it's like a, another banded tresses, and it's really, really unique. It has the, the top going on, super different. And um, she also has the, the handbag, the purse going on with a little bit of glitter. So it's just perfect for a night to go out with the husband. I mean, with like I said, with the girlfriends, it's just, really really pretty yes i agree and i i find it so cool that it's so unique and different and it is like a two-piece where mm -hmm. like the skirt has its own like sleeve that goes up and then the top is the one that has 
that sleeve that wraps around your arm and then the, the kind of like the neck choker yeah, thing. So and I love this look today for the first time I got to go to the terrace at the Plaza Pioneer Park Hotel. So I think this is the perfect oh, attire yes. to go up there and have some cocktails with and your take friends pictures. and take lots of pictures. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Natalia. Thank you. And now we're going to bring out Desiree, who has a very different look. Tell us about yes. Desiree's look. This is one of my favorite looks. It's, it's like a palazzo pant going on. And the top is just so different and unique, like just like the other ones. It's also bandage material, so it's really a uh, thick material, it's uh, elastic as well. And the belt, we have the belts in gold and silver as well. And you know, the hat, it just puts the whole fog together, the whole fog look. Honestly, I absolutely love this. And I don't think I've seen that many bandage palazzos. palazzos. Like, it, it's not something that I see common. No. But it definitely looks super pretty. And again, that fabric that just hugs you and helps your body you know molded and just look even better than what it already does so thank you Desiree thank you you're so definitely you so rocking that look I love it and now last but not least we're gonna bring out our last model Emily Emily if you can come out here tell us about Emily's yeah, look so she's also wearing you know the animal print the leopard going on the skirt and it's so pretty because you can wear this to work you can wear this with the family for a you know to go to church it's just so pretty I love it, the animal print. I feel like that, that to me speaks fall. Yes, <laughs> just the colors Personally, just and of course, she looks absolutely gorgeous. And yes, you're right, I can totally wear this to work. So I'm gonna add this to my shopping <laughs> cart as well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. So now I'm gonna ask all of our models to come out here for one last look. So Paulette, if you can lead the way for our models. Honestly, Neva, which one's your favorite? I can't decide. You I love can. the first one. I love the I love all of them. They all look beautiful. Honestly, I do too, but I think definitely the one Desiree is wearing right here with the fedora hat is probably one of my favorites. Yes, because definitely. it just I don't know. Fall. Just, I just yeah, see fall. Definitely. And it's then, then like that belt mix. with the little bling gives yeah. you that extra little pop, so it's perfect. So pretty. I love it. So ladies, if you liked any of these uh, outfits come visit us and of course the looks that we're both wearing we can also find them at Nada's boutique right yes yes <laughs> andrea's wearing or, or one of my favorite skirts you know the <laughs> the leather the brown leather skirt and then the top we sold out on the top i'm sorry guys but um <laughs> yes you can find everything you see here at Nada's boutique we're located 1810 traywood uh suite e and we're open monday through saturday 11 a.m till 5 p.m and if you guys are worried about this whole COVID-19 pandemic, don't worry. Everything is clean yes. and sanitized. We are taking precautions. You know, we, yes. are, we have our mask on, our gloves. We, we, we have to spray Lysol and, you know, like everything going on. But yes, you could come visit us and um, check yeah. it out. <laughs> the one thing that I am going to say, I was there last week. And like I said, I spent more time than I should have there. I was, yeah, I was there for, I was like, there for three like, hours. Yeah, I was there probably for like three hours. But let me tell you, when you walk in there, it's not just like you go in and you just shop around and that's it. No, I saw Nada interact with her customers <laughs> and she makes you feel beautiful. She makes you feel important. She makes you feel like a friend. So you don't just get to go shop. You get to go you know, vent or, you know, <laughs> tell people about your life or if you're worried you know, about something. It's kind of funny. I have a friend of mine that she's like, Nita, this is like my best um, psychology therapy, like psychology yes, therapy. Yes, it is therapy. therapy. It there is you go. therapy. I'm telling you. Retail therapy. So you guys therapy. should definitely, <laughs> yes, retail therapy, that's the word. You guys should definitely go check out Nita's Boutique because it's, you're gonna feel like home. You're gonna find the best outfits for any occasion. You're gonna found, find accessories and shoes. So she's got it all. She's got you covered for this fall season. So get ready because those cooler temperatures are gonna start coming our way. So you're gonna want to fill your closet with those fall trends. So yes. thank you so much, thank Nada. You so We're much. glad that you I came. Love and brought us some beautiful you clothes guys. again. Thank you for the invitation. No, and I hope you. to see you again. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we hope to see her again back here soon. And don't go anywhere because Live and Talented continues. The catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today. Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model.
Thank you so much, Andrea, and thank you to our beautiful Nada for coming in with those beautiful styles. They have an actual location here in El Paso, so go ahead and check it out. They also have a Facebook and an Instagram, Nada's Boutique, so go ahead and check them out. So now we have our TikTok of the week. Uh, Emma is going to try to understand some Spanish jokes. So let's go ahead and check out Emma. Hola, everyone. <laughs> Hola, everyone. Welcome to TikToks of the week. By my introduction, as you can see, we will be doing our TikToks in Spanish today. I have a very special guest. This is Kiara. Hi, everyone. I'm so lucky to have her here um, because unlike me, she actually does know Spanish. Yes, that's right. And she's here to help me out, y'all. So we're going to look at a couple... Spanish jokes on TikTok. I'm going to try to translate and then she's going to give me the correct translation. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn a few things today. So let's take a look at this first video. Explícame, ¿qué son los chilaquiles? Ah, los chilaquiles, pues mira, es tortilla con queso, con crema, salsa, le puedes poner frijoles, pollo. Ah, ok. ¿Y las flautas? Ah, pues mira. Es tortilla. Con queso, con crema, salsa. Le puedes poner frijoles. <risa> Pollo. Ah, ¿y los sopes? Pues mira. Ese sí es diferente porque es más chiquito. <laughs> okay, I got this one because it's all food. Okay. okay, at the end, they said chiquito, which is small. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, okay. okay, I understood this one because I've obviously been to a Mexican restaurant, so like mm -hmm. I know what all the foods are. Mm -hmm. And so they were just giving the menu, but like all the foods were the same. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because they're like, Pollo is chicken. Okay. Tortilla yes. is tortilla. Yes. And then I don't remember what else. Oh. Was I right? Yes, give you were a, right. Give a rundown. Like, what's the funniest part of this joke? Well, pretty much, like, the joke is based off on, like, how the girl is asking him how, um, like, what the tip different types of foods are. But it's pretty much, like, all the same thing, you know? And it all has, like, the same foods in, in it. But they're different. But they're different. But like, do you taste the difference when you order each one of these things? Or does it like feel Honestly, the same to you? No, I feel like flautas taste like crunchier. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, it's like. There's a difference. Yeah, there's like same a difference. Agree, there's a difference. It's the way they're cooked, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but there's like a difference, but not a difference. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one pretty well. I think that yeah. was like our entry level. Yeah, that you was did good. Easy. You did good. Thank you. Okay, I did test out my knowledge on this next one. We're leveling up here. Let's take a look. Um, okay, so the first part is Eminem. Like, I know that part. The second part... I didn't think she was saying anything. I thought she was just like, da, 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 da. is she saying something? I really can't even attempt to translate what just happened. Well, she's pretty much saying El Padre Nuestro, which is like the Lord's Prayer. But like she's saying it like really fast. So like it's pretty much comparing like Eminem in English and then like Mexican moms. like Way faster. Yeah. I literally didn't even think she was saying anything. No, yeah, she's saying something. <laughs> okay, well, okay. I uh, failed that one, but good to know. Now I know what the Lord's Prayer sounds like in Spanish <laughs> compared yeah. to Eminem. I didn't know I need to know that, but I did. Um, let's take a look at our third video. Esta gata solo sabe comer y cagar. Ooh, sin pelear. Esta gata, mi barriga me vino a la well, <laughs> it's because she's laughing, so I feel like I should be laughing. I feel left out, but I don't know what they're saying. Okay, you don't know anything? Okay, okay. Okay. The theme is the Lion King. Like, <laughs> Okay, yeah. Like, the Lion King theme yes. songs. But they're not saying the words that are in the Lion King. No, they're not. You don't know, like, She anything? was drinking milk? 
or something uh -huh. and then spit it out. That w that was a physical cue though. That wasn't anything in Spanish. So I kind of. So so you didn't understand no, any of the way. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just. Wasting so, time. So it was pretty. <laughs> it was pretty much like they were just like saying that like the lady that was eating or drinking the milk, like all she knows how to do is eat and poop, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yes, that's all. That's all. Love that for her. That that's was it. Much, that was well, it. Well, and she just started laughing and spit out the milk. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it probably would have been funny if I knew what she said the first time, but you know, it's okay. Now yeah. I know. Yeah. And it's not the Lion King. No, well, it was about eating and pooping. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What would I do without Kiara in my life? My translator, everyone. Okay, next video. Here we go. Señora, entonces cuéntenos por qué usted mató a su marido. Sí, señorita. Yo lo maté porque lo vi que estaba dándole likes a viejas en el TikTok. Y lo maté. Dije, ¿sabes qué? Chingas a tu madre. Tan y muerto. Um, muerto means dead. Good job. Ugh. She's at school. No. No. Is that not a school? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a crime screen. It's a crime scene. Oh, okay, dead, dead. Yes. And she went like this. Um, I feel like I, another, I knew another key word in there, but I forgot it because I was focusing so hard. Mm -hmm. All I know is dead. Did okay. she say lice at one point? Lice? No! <laughs> she, said, she said nothing about lice. <laughs> In English, I heard lice. And she said likes. Like. Okay. So, so <laughs> what did she say? So it was pretty much about her, like, saying that she... Um, well, an officer was asking her why she killed her, her husband. Oh. And pretty much she killed her husband because he was liking other girls' TikToks. Oh, so it's pretty much just her being lice. toxic. Yeah. I heard lice, and then my brain went to a school, like school and lice, like you know, and, and death. <laughs> school lice. Oh, and death. okay, that's a lot more funny than I thought it was. Yeah, it's I pretty like much that one. her killing her husband because he's liking other girls' TikToks. Don't do that, people. Okay, or you'll be <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well I was very wrong on that one. Let me get one more chance. Let's see how Just I do. More. Just one more before I embarrass myself further. Okay, let's watch the last one. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. A poem. It's so hard. El pedo es un aire acero que sale por el trasero anunciando la llegada de su hermana la cagada. She said a poem. Okay. And it rhymes. And then she said like sa sale or something. That's leave, right? Like get out or leave? Yeah, Ish. kind of. And yeah. then she said hermana, right? Uh, no. No? no. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. She said hermana. At the end. No, yeah, she said hermana. You know, you're right. You're right. That's yeah. all I got. That's I have no idea got. what the poem's about. You have no idea what the poem is about. No. You ready? Yes. The poem <laughs> is again about farting and pooping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, great. It's pretty much like talking about how... <laughs> Why are all these TikToks the <laughs> same? It's pretty much about how like farting sister, a uh, fart sister is like... Sister! Hermana! Yeah. I'm going to take the positive side of it. I'm not going to focus on the pooping part. I'm going to focus on that I knew that word. Yes, you focus on that. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I learned. Well, I want to say I learned a lot today, but I don't think I did. I think I think I need to practice more. Yeah, um, a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. I do have, you know, an app on my phone that translates from, from Spanish to English. So I'm, I'm going to use that more often. I'm really trying to learn, y'all. But yeah. maybe with Kiara in my life, now you can just, like, translate yes, for me I'll help, yeah. some TikToks. But, yes. yes, that was so fun. Thank you for being here today, showing me You're some welcome. Spanish jokes. We will see y'all next week. Don't forget, follow Live and Talented on TikTok to get some exclusive and behind-the-scenes content. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Manny Rubio for tonight's guest. Let's go ahead and check out the interview. The catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today. Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model. Hello, El Paso. Welcome to another segment of Local Icons. We have a very special guest with us today, and he's a big actor. Some of you guys may know him, may have heard of him. He has been in big projects in Fox. He's been in projects in Netflix. He's been in projects in HBO. You might have heard of him around town. Let's welcome Mr. Manny Rubio. Come on, Manny, how are you? Good to see you. Absolutely. Have a seat, have a seat. Thank you, man. I like the set, man. I like Absolutely. the music. It's always good to see you, man. Likewise, brother. Feels like home. Always home. Yes, <laughs> well, it's finally time for your segment because we've been trying to get you here for a while. And uh, we finally found some time to, to, to bring you on board. Let everybody know, Manny, who Manny Rubio is and where he comes from, where he was born, where he was raised. Uh, a little bit of background, high school maybe. Oh, right on, right on. Let's see. Uh, I was born in El Paso. Um, born and raised here, man. I've lived a little bit in, uh, outside of town, though, but this is always home. home. I always come back, man. Uh, I went to Bel Air High School, actually. Hey. Graduated from there. Hey. Uh, what school did you go to? I went to Socorro High School, okay. but I worked eight years at Bel Air, so I'm like Big Red. Oh, man. there you go, man. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I, did, I did double the time uh, at Bel Air than what I did, you know in my high school okay, years. Okay, so. right on, right on. So what else? What else? So uh, I started doing community theater back in uh, 1997, man. I, uh, my neighbor, he was involved in acting. And one day we were just hanging out and uh, him and the director just look at me and they're like, Max. I'm like, oh, no, it's Manny. <laughs> no, Max, dude, I'm doing a play. Please, please, please. You gotta be in my play, man. The guy dropped out, you can do it. And I said, all right, I'll do it, uh, sure. And I got bit with a bug, man. After that, I just started doing Theater, 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 uh, and then uh, they asked me to do a, you remember Walk El Paso Walk? Yeah. Yeah, they asked me, hey, you wanna do a Walk El Paso Walk commercial? And like, we're gonna pay you. I'm like, what, you're gonna pay me? You pay me for this? Yeah, yeah, for real, for <laughs> acting. And uh, started doing commercials, started doing like industrials, and yeah. radio spots, and then ind independent films, and then uh, my life changed in 2007, man. I had, a, I had a buddy who had an audition for Prison Break, uh -huh. an old show back on Fox. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he told me, hey, it's in Dallas, you wanna drive with me? And I said, yeah, I'll drive with you. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm scheming, man. I got a resume together, got like my best like prisoner looking picture. <laughs> and when I got there, I go to the like assistant, mm -hmm. assistant, assistant casting director. Like, yo, I just drove nine mm -hmm. hours from El Paso. Can you please give me an audition? And uh, the casting director, she had done a play in college uh -huh. that I did for free, but I, you know, it was uh, Picasso with the La Pana Gilles by Steve Martin. So she gave me a shot. And next thing you know, man, I booked four episodes on it. And, and that was kind of your breakthrough, huh? Oh, that was my breakthrough, man. That's, yeah. that's when that I- That was definitely your breakthrough. For sure. And then that's, that was it, man. And, and, then, and then life changed. Like literally, you became SAG after that. Yeah, you, you have to work two projects. So that was my first one. Okay. But then I ended up uh, booking another uh, film called uh, Inhale with uh, Dermot Mulroney and Diane, um, what's her name? Anyway, but uh, yeah. Well, give, so us, give us a little depth into what SAG is. So people that don't know what, okay. what the Screen, Act, Screen Actors Guild is. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, uh, SAG is the Screen Actors Guild, but it uh, merged with the uh, Amer American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Mm -hmm. So now it's SAG-AFTRA. And uh, the good thing about being in the union, man, is they, they look out for you. They look they out do. for you. I mean, besides the pay. Uh, pay increases. Pay certainly. increases, uh, yeah. residual income for any projects. Um, it keeps going, royalties yeah. keep coming in. All that good stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, and they, they take care of you, man. They take care of you, all you right. know? As artists, a lot of people want to sometimes just, I don't want to say take advantage, but kind of like, oh, you're an artist, just come do my thing, bro. <laughs> the next thing you know, you're doing 14 hours in the sun, <laughs> not getting fed, and, which yeah. I love acting, so 
no complaints. You've done it still. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. still doing, but it's nice to be taken care of. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah I recommend it for anybody. You know what? Uh, I'm actually, you know, I had similar steps uh, growing up in this business. Uh, I left LA at the age of 17, right out of high school. And um, one of my, my, my first year was nothing but modeling little gigs, tiny, tiny little gigs. And then I started acting, taking acting courses. Because my, my agent said, hey, you're not gonna be booking these male model jobs uh, until you look more masculine. I was mm-hmm. puny, I was mm-hmm. tiny. Mm-hmm. And um, so he said, you, I suggest you start taking some, some acting courses. Okay. The minute I did that, things started coming through. So uh, I did my first project with a, uh, a documentary with HBO. Oh, nice. And um, nice. being taken care of was the biggest kind of like highlight to this day in my acting career. Dude, that's... I was on set. They asked me call time was at 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. They didn't use me till like 4 in the afternoon. I got paid every hour. And some. That's and like some. Time, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, I got paid, but I ate all kinds of stuff in their in their little set that they had because it was like this big old canopy with, I mean, everything. Craft Fruit. services is yes. that's one of the best yeah. perks, man. So I mean, I I mean, this is back in ninety seven, ninety eight. Yeah. So I imagine what you're going through ten years later now, twenty years later, you're still doing this. Um, you said, take being taken care of was a big perk. Give us some details. How do they take care of you? Like, aside from the money, I know yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, a big difference. Yeah. yeah. You know what, man? Honestly, it, it's still. How was it set for? I'm for still prison uncomfort- break. uncomfortable sometimes. Uncomfortable sometimes, man. Could you get there? And then they're like, "Oh, what would you like to drink? What do you want to eat?" And then you know you tell them, and then have you had a trailer to yourself? Already? Yeah, you get your trailer. Ooh, and like, boy. I didn't. Your, I never went to that. They bring your food. And it's a little, dude. I still haven't gotten used to it, man. I'm just like, oh yeah. I'm from El Paso, man. Just yeah. a little humble boy from El Paso, <laughs> man. And, and uh, it's, I, I still never get used to that, man. You know, being out in the sun and people holding your umbrella. And uh, like, I got it. I got it. No, yeah. no, no. I'm like, I got okay, it okay, okay, okay. All right. Wow. It's still, it's still a little bit. But, uh, but it, it's, it's fun, though, man. Because you, you, pay, you pay your dues for so long. Yeah. And you just put your time in. And Absolutely. it's kind of nice to be, you know, be treated like that, man. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's not a complaint, for sure. Before I move on, I, I mean... I know that there's, I want to ask you some questions on some uh, recent former projects, recent former, pro- yeah, yeah. Or, sorry, sure. recent projects. And I want to ask you on what's coming up next for many. But before that, I want to show everybody your highlight reel. Oh, right on, uh, right on. So let's quick, take a quick look at Manny Rubio's highlight reel. I hadn't visited him since medical school. I used to call him every day, then it became once a week, and then once a month, and I just stopped calling altogether. Just got so busy, I didn't have any time. We make time for what we want. You need a hook up, my friend. No. Take your time. I don't hard sell. My product speaks for itself. Outside. I took something soft. Prescription drug called Veritrol, and I was wondering if you know. This ain't no farmacia, but what I got right here, it's better than anything your doctor gave you back in the States. That's tar. And just take a taste. Algo pequeñito, you know, keep it in check. I don't have any money right now. And I don't have any drugs, but there are a few ways for a man to make a few dollars in sauna, though. Servicing the needs of others, not something I'm into. This is a punk. I'm just helping you get well, my friend. Just helping you get well. <laughs> the weekly from the operations on the outside. Grave Digger dropped it off. <laughs> Couldn't be. It's that little boy at 210. Stuff's just moving a little slower on the outside these days. For you and me, well, me goes. Yeah, base. When the chero's in a better mood, I'm gonna put in a good word. Help you, how you say? Move up the ladder. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, compadre, but I was always taught that uh, God helps those that help themselves. Fire con Dios. 
Right now, right now! Okay. She didn't run, huh? It happened so fast. Right. We'll take care of it. Get back, up, back, up, back. ¿Qué chingado se estás haciendo? Este cabrón nos está siguiendo. Sometimes you're gonna see some bad shit. Carter, keep Come your on. eyes on me. I'll frisk you. I will get out and frisk you. Carter, that's not exactly under the radar there, you know? It's time for a little protect and serve. Carter. Carter! It's a dude! Rainers? That's 20 damn miles out of town. It's important that I get home. Hey. You're still home. Sorry about what I said earlier. Please, don't go. I'll be home in 10 minutes. Wow. You never, you never come short of amaze me. So, too kind, brother. <laughs> this, these two clips that we saw, one of them was Hands of God, mm -hmm. which was casted here. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. uh, the, the second, the whole scene after that mm -hmm. was uh, Prison Break. Was that the first episode you were doing with them? Um, I think that one is the third episode on that clip. Yeah, the okay. third episode, yeah. Um, you mentioned Hands of God, and I'm, particularly proud of that project, man. Just because the film, the uh, Paso film community has barely blown up in the last few years. Yeah. But back in 2009, there wasn't, it wasn't that vibrant like now. That's an all El Paso cast and crew yeah. on Hands of God and they got down, man. Yeah. That was yeah. like, that, that's it, With the train. Carlos Corral was yeah, yeah, yes Carlos sir. Corral. Yes, sir, yeah. Um, who other actors were part of that? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it was uh, Marco Naylor. Uh, he's out in uh, Georgia now. Uh, it was, um, but he's local. Is yeah, he local? local from here, okay. living out in Georgia now, working, doing crew out there. And then uh, uh, Ramon, uh, se llama? Ramon Villa, Villa. Okay. Yeah. that's the gentleman. Musician, professor, all that yeah. good stuff. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, man, it, that super you worked, talented people. Here. You've worked with the majority of, of the El Paso film and crew actors. I, can, I think you work with the majority that are kind of known around here. I would say I've been lucky too, man, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and they always blow me away, man, the talent. And it's just gotten better too, yeah, better and better. Things are blowing up. Yeah, yeah. Which leads me to uh, what you mentioned right now, how things have blown up. Uh, what's coming up? What's new? What, what, what are these projects? I know, guys, I know some details that, that I'm gonna let Manny speak very, very little of, but Give everybody a little, okay. little, little edge on what's coming up for Manny. All right. Uh, well, I guess one that I could talk about for sure, because it's already in the can, it's a movie called Half Brothers. It okay. uh, was made with NBC Universal uh, with Luis Gerardo Mendes. Okay. Uh, super big in Mexico. Now he crossed over. Yeah, he's crossing over to the States. And he's, wow. uh, yeah, he's uh, a great guy to and work with, too. you've already, have you started production on that? Yeah, we already filmed. We already oh, you filmed, filmed? And the film is completed and should be out uh, sometime this year or, or the next pan year. The pandemic kind of held everything back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was supposed to already be out, but I guess it's, they're waiting for the right time. Okay. But um, I uh, got a couple of Netflix projects that are coming up as well that I'm ready to work on. I can't wait. Um, one, I cannot talk about whatsoever. Those darn yeah. NDAs, man. <laughs> Disclosure agreements. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but another one, it's... Um, I I'm sure I, if it's that big, I mean, if, it, if, if you sign a non-disclosure and the little that you mentioned to me uh, without the full details, that seems like going to be a huge project. It's a super, super popular show and they just gave word though that they're going to continue. Wow. Beyond, beyond this season. So. That's crazy. So people are going to Can't wait. You guys, I'm, I'm anxious to see exactly what, it's, what it is, I can't but uh, I'm sure it's way up there. Man. It's one of those big ones. And the other one is uh, it's, uh, starring Idris Elba. That's, I, think, I think I can say that at least. Okay. Um, produced by, oh my goodness, I have to bite my tongue. But yeah, I, I just cannot <laughs> wait, man. I, I work. Produced by a big star. Yeah. That I do know, but I'm not, I can't say it. A big star with a big star wife. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Probably the baddest couple on the planet, right? The, probably the probably baddest. The yeah. But anyway, but yeah, so Hollywood. That's, that's next month, man. So I'm excited about that. A-list, brother. Mm -hmm. A-list, you're working out with A-listers, so. But uh, on another level, man, uh, you mentioned the pandemic and, and how it's affected stuff. 
uh, we were supposed to do a play here in El Paso, mm -hmm. but it's going to be on the radio uh, this coming Saturday okay. on 88.5. Oh, wow. It's uh, called Borderline, and um, it's like a throwback, man, just to the radio. Wow. Just, you know, back when they did plays on the radio. And, uh, Are you serious? Yeah. I, I didn't even know that. They yeah, used to yeah. do plays on the radio? Yeah. Uh, back in the, like, I guess, 20s, 30s, or 40s. 88.5? Uh, yeah, this Saturday and do you at 11.30. Read, do you read live, or is it all pre-produced? Man, in this age of the pandemic, we went to go pick up our equipment at UTEP. Uh -huh. the, we had to learn how to do it ourselves at home. Uh -huh. And yeah, we did it on a Zoom meeting, everyone with their own equipment at home. So what? the sound dude will put it together. And yeah, I can't wait to hear how it comes out, man. Oh, that's a, crazy. It's a, it's a pretty good little... It's a pretty good little uh, is that your first of that sort? Radio play? Yeah, first yeah. one. I've done stage readings, I've done, but yeah, like a radio play, that was, that was a blast, man. That was a blast. Well, I, and for the people out there, Manny is a veteran now here at LAT Studio. He was our first acting coach that we had hired mm -hmm. uh, back in 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, it was right after Prison Break or during Prison Break. Right, right after. Right, right after, after, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and now, he was actually, he's been working with us again since uh, last fall. Yeah, last fall. Last fall. Mm -hmm. So there's courses available, and uh, Manny Rubio is going to be uh, coaching this upcoming fall. So if you guys are interested, we have several people signed up already. The capacity is only 10 students per class. There's a youth class, and there's an adult class. So if you guys are interested, hit us up at letstudio.com. But uh, Manny, one... Uh, Last question before you uh, leave mm -hmm. is, how can actors get started? Aside from from uh, classes, what do you suggest they do? What, what can they do? A mm -hmm. big advice for, for you know, aspiring actors. This is a good time to get into acting, just because of all the, all the equipment is at hand. Oh, yeah. With apps, with cell phones. I mean, you have TikToks. everything you need. <laughs> TikToks. I mean, and honestly, like that's a lot of uh, media companies, production companies, they're looking to TikTok to find their latest star, wow. to YouTube to find their latest star. Yeah. So I would just say, just start filming on your camera. You always, the best camera is the one you have on you. So you, you, you showed me something right now before we started the interview. You do this kind of like personal, uh, yeah. A little gesture of your own. Mm -hmm. It's a one second of video mm -hmm. per day. Per day, yeah. One second of video per day. And then what? What do you do with this? Well, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be surprised what you can capture in a second. Yeah. Right? You'd be surprised how much one second can tell you. So I'm just going to put them together. It's a five-year project. Five years. Uh, You've yeah. been doing it for five years already? Yeah. I started in 2016. And this is my fifth year doing it. Uh, so I'm going to wrap at the end so of this So 365 days times five, you have well over like 1,500 or plus seconds. Comes out to around six, six something minutes a year, around 30 minutes overall. But I'm going <laughs> to just find a way to compress it, <laughs> take out some of the moments that, you know, like, yeah, you know that all right. Uh, take out yeah. certain people. <laughs> certain people. <laughs> <laughs> so people, yeah, they're no longer in your life. No longer, but yeah. So uh, yeah, man, that's, that's my little my little pet that's project. Awesome, Staying man. creative, you know? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know? But uh, yeah, I would say for anyone that wants to act, the only person that can keep you from acting is you. That's the only person. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can make your own projects yeah. now. You don't, need, you, don't need, you don't need film, production companies, TV. Just, you have your phone. Yeah. You have friends. And you know what? There's yeah. a lot of people that know how to act. They're, they're good at it but they never put themselves to the test in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. And so therefore they never kind of, they never ventured out. Mm -hmm. So what better way than to use your phone? And, uh, and if you guys want extra help and some serious coaching, Manny Rubio is here at LAT Studio. This is where we film. Um, Manny, thank you so much. Thank you, Tony, for being here. Yeah. Always, always been a pleasure to have you as my friend. And uh, now as a colleague, Again, yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you, man. I can't wait to start the classes, man. Absolutely. I'm really excited. September really? 19th. There's about four spots, five spots left. Okay. So, Ooh. all right, guys. Thank you so much, Manny. Thank you for for thank being you, here. Tom. Be good. Wish man. you the thank best you. in your next projects. Thank you. You guys, uh, we'll, we have more for Live and Talented. Let's see what Larissa has for us the rest of the show. The catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today 
Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model. Thank you so much, Manny, for coming in. Thank you for your time and for your inspiration. You guys, I hope that you're enjoying these local icon segments as much as I am. We get to showcase a bunch of people from the local, from, from our, our 915 city uh, who are doing amazing things, who are successful. Uh, so go ahead and like us and go ahead and watch us next week. We have a very special guest. Uh, but up next, you guys, we have our LAT Senior Company Dance Group. We're going to be showing a video from one of their uh, dances last year. They performed the Strut Strut Dance at the San Diego Regionals. All right, so let's go ahead and check out that clip. You can look, but you can't touch it. If you touch it, I'm a... What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk, all, all that junk. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside the trunk. Okay, get, get, get you drunk. Four, three, two. That was so awesome. A lot of talent here, you guys. All right, well, that wraps up our show for tonight. And all you dancers out there, this team is actually holding auditions October 24th. So for all the dancers out there, if you want to come in and be part of this talented team, go ahead and email us or come to our studio. Just check us out October 24th. All right, you guys, we'll catch you next live uh, Friday night.